Time to paint the chimeras from the Resident Evil board game by Steamforged Games. Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video we'll be uh, painting up the chimeras from the Resident Evil board game by Steamforged Games. Um, now we are coming towards the end of our monsters and um, we've only got a, this and uh, I think the giant spider left to do. Um, uh, and zombie zombie forest uh, and then it's just the characters left um but um before we get into it um if you would like to support the channel i do have a paypal linked in the description um anything on there will go into greatly improving the quality of my videos so please think about donating if you do um chuck a request in and i'll try and get it up, uh, painted up and um, that includes all of the resident evil 2 and 3 minis because i do have those games as well so if you would like to see any of them, be it Leon Kennedy or Claire Redfield or Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 3 or Carlos, just go ahead and uh, chuck us in a request and I'll see you to getting it done. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, let's get into painting these. Uh, they were base coated, well they were first um, uh, washed with warm soapy water and scrubbed with a toothbrush just to get any release agent off. This is important because if you spray directly onto them and they start painting, um, the release agent will cause the paint to come away with multiple use so if you're handling them quite a lot you'll find that the paint will rub off them so um, not really a problem if you varnish them at the end which I will be doing all in one go um, but I highly advise you to do this step because it it will it, it doesn't take long um, they were then base coated with brain matter beige so without further ado let's get into painting the chimeras so the first step we're going to go in with Emperor's Children and this is a nice sort of uh, st starting point um, for all the reds. So here I'm using a um, Army Painter wet palette. I'm going to get some on my wet palette, fill it down with a dab of water so it flows better. And for this I'm probably just going to go all over because the main two colours here will be this pink um, which we, we, we will then wash to darken down and get it more sort of reddish bloodied and then black for most of the harder um, scales and chitinous chitinous body parts so I'd say two coats of this over the entire body um, just to cover all those inner areas I'll get that completed and we'll be back Okay, so that's the Emperor's Children completed on uh, those two chimeras. Next up, we're going to go in with shading. So for this, we're going to need a uh, Berserker Blood Shade. And this will give it like a nice, sickly, bloodied colour. Not too much on our brush. And we're just going to check this over the whole model. Like so. Focusing mostly on those recesses. Like so. I'll get this finished and we'll be back. Okay, so that's the shading done on them. As you can see, it's uh, made the recesses darker. Um, next, we're going to go uh, and start highlighting up. So we're actually going to dry brush for this. We're going to use Emperor's Children for the first step. We're going to get a, this is a makeup brush. These are really good for dry, as dry brushes. And a bit of, uh, clean bit of paper. So we just want to get a little bit on our brush, like so. We want to get rid of the majority off on our bit of paper here and then just use this to drag along just to catch those top bits. Don't want to go too mad here. Just go all over the model like this. Just to start the gradual highlight up. I'll get that done and we'll be back. Next step, we're going to do the same thing, but this one's going to be with Changeling Pink. Uh, you could alternately use um, Fulgrim Pink, but uh, this is the dry paint. Dry paints are um, obviously used for dry brushing. And you get a bit on your brush. As you can see, they're meant to be dry inside. So they're great for, uh, for this stage. So get a bit on your brush, remove the majority of it, and again, just... This is a more um, subtle highlight, so we just want to very lightly brush along the mini, focusing on the fleshy bits. So, I'll get that finished and we'll be back. 
Okay, so um, that's the Freshly Bits um, dry brushed. Next step, we're going to go in with Black Legion. And we're going to start painting in the, uh, all like the armor plates and stuff. So, these bits here. These bits on the legs here. This bit here. These bits here. Armor on the parts of the leg there, along the arms and the shoulders, like that, the face, then this bit of the back, this bit here, and then all of these arms are going to be painted in black, um, the forearm here, this bit here, and then just this bit here, so sort of down here, like that, just, just take your time. And see which bits are um see bit which bits are uh meant to be black. I mean you can get up a photo reference if you want. Um there's plenty of artwork on online. Or if you want examples, have a look on different um like Facebook uh Facebook groups find examples of them but I'll get this done and I'll show you which parts are done okay so that's the next step done um, this is what they're looking like so far trying to keep some of those fleshy bits um, those, those really pinkish fleshy bits there on, on all parts um, next I've seen a good example of someone using like a, a yellowy sickly light for um, the highlights like artificial light and the blacks so for this I'm going to use Avalanche Sunset and I'll try to like quite try to like quite like to um, get that same sort of effect so I'm going to get a bit of Avalanche Sunset onto my wet palette then I'm going to add a little bit of Black Legion just to darken it down more so then I'm going to use this as the highlight so here we're just going to highlight sort of the top edges like so right here just all the raised edges and stuff bits that are facing like where the light would actually hit the edges of these armor plates, the bridge of the nose there, and then on on these bits, like so, and on the abdomen at the back, like that. I'll finish getting that done. We'll be back. This is how it's looking so far. Um, next, we're going to do the same again, uh, but just adding more Avalanche Sunset. Uh, you can add this in if your palette's still wet. Add this in just to make a, a slightly highlight, a highlight, a higher highlight. Uh, if not, just use even less um, uh, Black Legion. And this is just focusing on the sharpest points. Let's say. And then the ribs, like so. Okay, I finished the back. Next step, we're gonna get P3 Mora White. And this is gonna just be for the absolute peak of the highlights. So we're gonna chuck this in with, with the previous mix to get a yellowy sort of, a yellowy gray um, highlight color. And this is literally just going to be almost just dots, just where you think the um, light might hit them, glance off the edges the most. Like so. 
Okay, so next up we're going to go in with Ushitabi Bone, and it's going to be for the single um, single claw on this part. Nice easy step here. Okay, so, let's get that done on both, and we'll be back. So, so for the claws is Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, we want the darker bit towards the base of the claw. So if you start at the tip and sort of like bring it backwards towards the base, you get that darker effect towards the base, which is what we're going for here, like so. Get that done the other one, we'll be back. Wash is drying, we're going to go in with Black Legion. And this is going to be for <clears throat> all the tips of like the, the other claws that are at the end of the these spidery bits. Um, they should already be black anyway, um, because we want to highlight them slightly differently to the rest of the armour. We want to go for a little bit more of a blue highlight. Uh, this also includes the the toes, I suppose, on the feet, like so. I'll get that done for both, and we'll be back. Next, we're going to go back in with Ushitabi Bone, just to get a bit of a highlight on these claws. Nice and easy here. Focus more towards the tips. Like so. Use this as a bit of a dry brushing as well. Like that. Uh, I'll do that on the other one as well. And finally, flavor on flesh. So always give your paint a good shake. Do it as a dry brush, so get a little bit of paper. And just focus this towards the tip. Let's say. Like that. Happy days. And then same again with this one. More towards the tip here. These will probably be covered in gore anyway at the end, but there you go. Next, we're going to go in with Dark Reaper. And this is to highlight the um, uh, all the claw bits at the end of these spider-like protrusions. That's right. And on these toes as well. On these, I don't know, hooves, claws, whatever you call them. Like that. Okay, that's finished. Move back. Final highlight for these those parts of claw is rust grey. This is just a very subtle highlight here. Like so, teeny tiny bits there and there, and then at the end of these, like that. Don't need to go too much here. Oh, too much there. It's just a dot essentially. That's all I'm doing, like that, and drops a good in. And almost there now, so we're going to go in with Moro White, and this is going to be for the eyeballs. Those big pearly white eyeballs. So, take your time, just dot them in like that. Like so. And same again on this guy. Like so. Okay. Can help but feel the, the, the whites in their eyes were too white, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go in and make them a bit reddish. So we're going to go in with Caraba Crimson. Uh, sit our shade and just dot a bit of red in the eyes. We don't want too much here, so we want it only sort of in the edges of it, like so. Messed up a bit there, like that. Uh, very red now, but we're going to go back in again with with white just to suit, sort of do the center of the pupil. So, like that. 
then more white again. And this is just to get a dot in the middle. Okay. So then you've got that reddish reddish tint to the eye. And then the white dot in the centre. There you go. Happy with that. It's quite menacing actually. <laughs> Only the fun bit the blood for the blood god the blood splatter so for this as i usually do i get a bit of sponge and shove it inside one of these bristle protectors this is great for dabbing so you get get some on your sponge like so then we're going to get a bit of tissue paper and we're going to get rid of most of that so just keep dabbing until it's mostly gone and then We'll just start dabbing these on. And my battery's getting low, so that's why the colour's gone. But I'll charge it after this step. So you can see the results. But don't 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 be too worried about going a bit blase with this. Obviously you don't want really to go over the top with the blood, but around this sort of mouth area on the claw like so. And maybe that around the hands, even on the legs here, where some of the fleshy bits are showing. Just a bit of blood is nice, and then even at the end of these claws. Like so, I will get that done and charge my phone so you can see a bit better, and we'll be back. Yes, and there you have it. So, uh, before the flash uh, annoyingly um, cut out because my battery is low, um, that is what it the stages look like with the blood on them. I didn't go too mad with them. Um, just sort of like dabbed on a few bits here and there. I uh, don't think I did any on the back, but I mean you can do it if you want. If you want to put more on like the, the, the sinewy bits, then that's fine. That's quite nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with this. They turned out quite nice, actually. Um, and then I did the, I've done the bases in corn red, uh, as I do all my monster bases. My Well, at least my non-boss monster bases. Um, so yeah, that's the Chimera is finished. Um, if you like this video, please leave me a like and uh, subscribe and share. Um, alternatively, if you if you would like to um, support the channel, um, please I have a uh, um, a PayPal link in the description. Anything on there will go into greatly improving the quality of my videos in the future. Um, I am currently saving up for a new desk lamp um, to improve the painting videos, the quality of the videos. But yeah, um, thanks again for watching. And happy painting. We'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye, Mr. Chimeras. Goodbye, Mr. Chimeras.